it says out of service so it says the car is out of service for some reason we hustle daily what's going on youtube welcome back to another video we're on our way to copart it's your boy big play ray um we're on our way to copart we're gonna check out this i think i don't know if i showed y'all this s10 on camera before but it was an S10 at Copart. It had like 116,000 miles. I had sat in it for a minute and just chilled in it. Um, but now it's finally up for sale because sometimes Copart be having like the cars in a little area that, but it don't be like for sale yet. I can see it on the lot, but it be like an upcoming lot. So I've, I've seen this car, I mean this truck rather, and I'm about to go check it out. Um, if I see some other cool stuff in here, I'm gonna definitely get y'all um, that on footage, but I'm really just coming here for that one little truck, the S10. They got low miles on it, so I don't know. Uh, oh, another, it's another uh, X AT and T car. So it was an AT and T car. Y'all know the Malibu was an X AT and T car, and both of the Malibus that I had showed y'all, I had they both the thumbnails. Um, y'all can check them videos out. It's like two Malibus. It's a white Malibu. 04 and then it's a, like a 90 I think the other one was a 99 um but yeah so I remember this S10 being here so it's finally up for sale oh let me reserve my place it's finally up for sale so um we about to go check it out I checked it out but I ain't check it out because I was just ready to go that day and like I said I don't even think I got it on footage I was just like you know checking it out because I knew it was an upcoming lot but I'm about to go really check it out now and um yeah so hopefully that thing is good to go again y'all know them uh company cars they used to take good care of those cars so we about to see what that looked like um but man make sure y'all uh like comment subscribe man to the channel make sure y'all hit the notification bell make sure y'all follow me on instagram we hustle daily dot co and make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com if you want to learn how to buy and sell cars and make money or just learn how to pick out a good car in general. You know, somebody brought this up to me the other day. A customer came out with a scanner and tried to, like another a dealer partner of mine. The customer came out with the scanner, but the, part, the, the, the customer didn't even know how to use the scanner. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. I'm not going to just know, like, a lot of people, they got, y'all, some people think they know about stuff, but they don't know about stuff. It's crazy, but... Um, yeah, I see y'all in Copart though. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by whdacademy.com, the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while, and as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. And also, if you're interested in growing your YouTube channel, be sure to check out whdyoutubeacademy.com, which is an online course where I'll be teaching you exactly how I grew my channel from 1,000 to 45,000 subscribers within just one year. So if you're struggling with growing your channel or thinking about growing your own channel, be sure to check the link in the description below. And also, don't forget about the seven-day price promo that ends Monday, February 8th, 2021. All right, so I know it's over here with the... AT&T cars. It was over there, but no longer, no longer see it. So we're gonna have to keep walking until we can find it. I know it was, these trucks are for sale too, I think. Yeah, these are two, these uh, F-150s. I know one of them, or two of them are, I think. I think these are more AT&T cars. Dang, AT&T, they kept their stuff. Well, it's not too dirty, but damn, they need to vacuum some. What is that? Safety eyewear, okay. But we're not interested in these because I know these are gonna go for a pretty good amount. Dang, they got the door all on my, on the car right here. So, we 
got to see if we can find this thing, man. So I am not seeing it nowhere. We got the truck. I know this is for sale too. This uh Suburban Z71 4x4. Cause it was also got the stripe down there, AT&T logo. It's the four by four. They kept this joint clean, super clean. Yeah. And it looked like it's about to crank up. So let's crank this joint. Cause this now this how you keep your cars. This is how you keep your cars, man. And it's a four by four. Flash front pattern. Got some little. Let's get on the other side. Oh, I got a TV too. Let's see. Uh, got the screen. I think it does have the screen. Y'all tell me. Yeah. Got the sunroof. Let's get in this thing, man. Uh, about to crank up for us. First aid kit. Definitely. They cleaned this one out. I guess some of them they clean out, some of them they don't, huh? Oh, let's see. Oh, let's crank this thing up, man. Turn the radio off. Huh. Oh, and it got the screen. I think that's the factory screen. This wasn't on this. I've seen this. Truck feels good. How many miles I said on this truck? One forty one. So y'all can see. So we got the two wheel drive. This wasn't the truck I was talking about, but got 140,000 miles. Now the truck, it's crazy because I just ran across the truck, but I wasn't going to come and even look at this truck, but because it said that it would have mechanical damage, but um, it sounds good to me. I gotta make sure, check this out on my list. Yeah, this car definitely had mechanical damage, y'all. Hold up, I wanna make sure so I can tell y'all the right information. Okay, so 2006 Chevy Suburban. Oh, this is a. Oh, this is a Suburban. I thought it was a Tahoe. Mechanical. It says mechanical damage. Now, I always thought mechanical damage meant that the car, um, like the motor knocking or something. I honestly, I always, I always thought that. So it looks like that is not the case because this boy cranks right up. It sounds good. I mean, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe transmission or something. It says the door is open. Hold on, let me take the brake off. Let's see. Everything seem like it works. Maybe the transmission, you never know. Now that's, a, that is a chance y'all. So mechanical, maybe it can mean the transmission. Does it say what mechanical is by the, it doesn't say. So it just says primary damage mechanical. 
I bet the AC work, everything in this thing, man. But with one something on the miles, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be, how do I? Yep, 141 on the miles, dude. With 141 on the miles, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a, a heavy hitter, four by four. But it's it, man, the mechanical damage really got me because I would've never even looked at this truck. But this definitely a nice truck, but I don't know, maybe the transmission slip in. Uh, 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 see that, man. Oh, man, but other than that, yo, it looked like this truck been taken care of, dude. It really does. Let's see. Got the little on button, off button. I guess that's like the emergency. Motor sounds good. It's the 5.3. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a power switch. That's what that is. What is that down there? It's like, I don't know. Look a little rusty up under here, but I don't know. Same mechanical damage though. This is and it says out of service. It's got a little sticker in the window. Uh, it says out of service. I can't even get it. Uh, I don't know what was on my camera, but it says out of service. So it says the car is out of service for some reason. Then it says do not wash, do not fuel, do not drive, do not perform any maintenance work. So that's what was left on the window. So it leads me to believe maybe something's wrong with it. I don't know. You know, you can't drive at Copart. Um, We'll see what it go for, but I don't think I'm interested in it because I think it's going to go for a lot. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below what y'all think that mean. Um, as far as that's what they said. It says Elder Service. AT&T wrote that on the, uh, what you call it. But let me see if I can find this other truck that I came here for. And uh, yeah. All right, that's something new. PSW wheels offset. This is the only thing that I uh, that I pretty much see new in the lot. This is the only thing that I pretty much see new. 125,000 miles on this one. And there's the dang on bumper in the background. It doesn't sound like it's about to come up though. I don't think it's the V8 though. Oh, let's push the start. Hold on. <sighs> Twelve. Got a whole bunch of junk in here, but it's crazy. I could not find my um. In the seat tripping, moving and stuff. Unfortunately, though, I could not find my truck. Um, I don't know what happened to the truck. Um, I had called. It's supposed to be over there. I had called them. Um, it was over there, because I, I, I did check the truck out. Um, but I don't know where the truck is. Good thing that I did check the truck out, but I'll be here all day waiting for them to uh, locate that boy. But it was over there, because I remember looking, I, like I was sitting in the truck. I just didn't check it out the way, I checked it out, but I didn't check, I didn't spend enough time with it. Um, but I'm kind of thinking that the truck is probably gonna go for a lot of money anyway. Um, it's a S10, I think 2099, whatever it is. Um, 116 on a mouse. It had the, it's like the AT&T truck with the, just like the, on the stuff on the back of the Tahoe. Um, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm wait for them to, I don't think I'm about to wait, man. I think I'm about to just, uh, 
I mean, I got, I know about the truck. I just didn't spend enough time with it. So, but I know them S10s go for a lot of money. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that Tahoe, though. What y'all think is going on with the Tahoe? Because of the little sign in the window saying that it's out of service. And, you know, so what do y'all think is going on with the Tahoe? Do y'all think that I should go ahead and try to bid on a Tahoe? Uh, for, it's super clean, as you can see. It just said mechanical damage. Um, then we seen that stuff in the, uh, we seen the, uh, the little stuff in the window or whatever, but y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Um, should I take a chance on a Tahoe or no? But as far as the S10, um, uh, we'll just, you know, we'll just watch the numbers, see what it go for. But I think I'll be waiting all day for them to come out and, um, locate that boy when it was over there, but I guess it's just not over there no more, you know? So but shout out to the whole hustle nation man um i might give y'all another video today but y'all let me know what y'all think if i should buy that tahoe or not um appreciate y'all tuning in make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com y'all want to learn how to check out these whips man and buy and sell cars i'm teaching y'all everything i know i got two packages on there for y'all so make sure y'all check out the website short video today but i don't want to walk around and look at the same cars that i looked at like they got the same y'all can just go back and look at the old videos for that so shout out to the whole hustle nation man appreciate y'all tuning in it's your boy ray big play ray i'm gone peace